am I 30s F? Crazy. Or is he 30s M? Cheating. I went through his work bag on Monday. He had a three-pack row of condoms with one open slash missing. I confronted him. He gaslighted me initially until I started screaming at him. Then the truth slowly came out. Well, some of it. He still denies having S asterisk X with her, but the evidence is damning. He says it only went on a week, just since the day they went to their activity. Everything intensified there, and he thinks he only crossed a line with the private Facebook stories. Meanwhile, he also admitted that they've been chatting using a work IM system regularly, including swapping pics, supposedly head shots only, which I doubt, for months to the point that he would lie to me about being on conference calls so that I wouldn't come into his office at home because he would actually just be chatting with her on IM and ignoring me. He chatted with her regularly, meanwhile, he would ignore my texts and phone calls. So that's neat. I was also told not to talk to her, don't message her, don't say anything to her at all. In my mind this is clearly because he wants to continue the affair and doesn't want to hurt her but he didn't care at all about hurting me. She also hinted to him that she wants him to go to Europe with her for a conference via email. I saw the email, I lost it, and he is no longer able to even consider going. I knew about the conference beforehand and actually said he could go without the kids or I before I knew about all of this. That isn't happening now for obvious reasons. Additionally, they also have planned for my child to become kids' messenger friends with her child. My child asks about it and the other kid, regularly. So now, as I explained to my husband, he has now put me in the position where I'm the jerk that won't let my child be friends with someone. I guess I'm the double loser here. So, long story short, you all were right. Thank you for the input and advice, Reddit edit, just to clarify. Amanda is also married and has children. From my snooping, I can see she got married about eight years ago. I'm using an alt because I need to make sure no one can figure out who I am if they stumble upon this. So here's what happened. A week ago Sunday, my 30s F, husband 30s M, took only one of our children out to an activity, and I was told someone from work may come, but not sure. When I pressed, he wouldn't tell me who it was, or even whether it was a male or female. The person was referred to as they constantly, even after he came home. They all went to lunch, to their activity, then out to supper and for a drink at a brewery beside the activity. Struck me as weird, but I let it go. Later in the week, I asked about it again, and he said it was a girl from work, Amanda. Didn't elaborate at all other than to say she brought her daughter and the kids had fun. This past week, my husband posted a weird Facebook story. It was a photo of him that he thinks he looks in with the song Hey. Soul Sister playing and the lyrics overlaid. If you don't know the lyrics, look them up, because that adds to the story for sure. I didn't see it at first, but my best friend sent me a message joking around about it. I asked him about it, and he says I meant to send it as a private story just to you, but didn't do it right, and immediately deleted it. He doesn't do this sort of thing for me, well, ever. So it struck me as strange. He didn't go on to repost it just to me, as he said he meant to just deleted it. Or so I thought that on Friday morning, I went down to his computer to pull something up, and his Facebook was open. The story I thought he deleted was there, this time with the added writing of danger on it. I looked on my phone, and he definitely didn't have a story from him there. So I opened it. It said it was posted 18 hours ago, saw one viewer only, and a big heart flying up that the viewer loved it. Who was the one viewer, Amanda? So I checked the privacy settings. He said it to only be visible to her. There was a second story of his as well, posted 17 hours ago. That was another photo looking slightly more with sultry written on it. Again, one viewer set to private with only her as the audience and she loved it. So I went to her profile. She also had stories that were guaranteed private. One was press here to see more with a generic photo of her looking cute with a heart on it, which he loved and the second was a photo of her looking seductive, biting her lip, shoulder exposed, with more sultry written on it. He loved that one too. Clearly, it was in response to his, I was mad. Mad, mad, mad. Like couldn't hold my biting remarks back sort of mad, but didn't outright confront him with what I know and still haven't. That night, 
I didn't sleep and got out of bed early. He followed me downstairs, went to the couch with his phone and stayed there for about two hours, then went to his computer and, as I saw later, started going through and deleting things and making sure he looked at his story archive, presumably to see what is there and what he had to hide or delete. Despite him not knowing exactly what I know and have seen, on Saturday morning he had the audacity to yell at me down a hallway that it wasn't what I think. What isn't what I think? He doesn't know exactly what I've seen. I took some time this morning to peruse her Facebook profile, and it turns out that this woman is the same woman who I had to ban him from seeing outside of for work-related purposes only when we were newlyweds 12 years ago. They used to go to lunch together regularly and hang out slash talk during their breaks when she was a student and he was staff. They work in the same department but really have zero reason to communicate for work purposes. I told him at the time she had to be cut out, the end, and he did. Until now, so, Redditors, am I crazy? Or is he cheating on Mao have been together 19 years, married 12? Story 2 My 30M, wife 30F, cheated on me with my best friend. I'm pretty lost right now, let me put it in perspective. I'd been having a bit of a difficult time with my partner. We had disagreements and problems, but I think it's nothing that couldn't be solved with a bit of communication, as usual. After noticing that something was wrong at the weekend, I noticed her distant and cold. On Monday, she gave me an ultimatum, saying that either we fix things or it's over. That it's up to me Monday and Tuesday she disappears all afternoon after work. My best friend works in the same company, and just on Tuesday he had gone to the office, when in general, he doesn't usually do it. So after trying to contact my partner without success, I called him, in case he knew anything. This is where the hard part begins, and I notice that he is extremely strange and tense. Something that shocks me a lot as I know him well. I insist a little, and he tells me to please talk to my partner, that we have a lot to talk about and not to bother him anymore. Quite surprised and worried, I continue to insist on contacting her and finally she answers me, giving me cold and cutting answers. I let it go and am patient so that I can talk about it when she get home. It's 12 o'clock at night and she shows up, tells me that we have to talk and so we do. I start by apologizing and trying to bring things closer together, trying to make sure that everything stays there. That's when she interrupts me and tells me that because of how distant I have been and how bad things have been between us, she has started to feel something for my friend, that she confessed it to him on Saturday, and that today they have spent the whole afternoon together. The quotes in the title are because, according to her, nothing happened, they just talked. I guess I should believe it then my world falls apart. I honestly don't know what to say, I couldn't assimilate it. That's when he starts repeating the same thing to me, that it's all my fault, that he has given her everything that I haven't, and that he had no other option. I don't know what to feel, I think I'm broken inside and I can't understand how all this has happened. For me one more argument was for her an insurmountable obstacle I don't know what to do, she is the woman of my life, I have never seen myself with another, I have never been interested in others, I could never do that to her, anyway, I don't know what I want to achieve with this post, but I don't want to tell anyone, I feel so sad and ashamed, I created an account just for this, just in case someone knows me.